In America, the overall business of risk management, which is a department that is typically ancillary to most corporations and companies, takes risks. You see, risk management is sort of about consumer rights, sort of about human resources, sort of about laws, and just overall mainly about rights. What I mean is that I can make observations of something that I see as a total waste of human capital in terms of what a company invests in someone they pay to do a job. Meaning because the supervisor is not either caring about it, because it's not his money, he's not the leader of the company, or because he's not paying attention, he gets dereliction of a person's duties beneath him. So I can sit here and watch this parking lot cleaner do the worst job that I can possibly see for his company, the most abuse of efficiency that I've ever seen in my company. And I can see him make his few passes in the main drag, and I can see him run a few passes through the parking lot, and then I can see him completely leave and go someplace else in the dark. But during those passes, did he stop and pick up the trash along the way that he's supposed to do? The answer is no, and my question is why? Whether you have light from the sun in the sky, or whether you have light on the buildings, there's still plenty of light to see the job and handle the duties. But what he'll do is come back later and pick up the trash. And then what he'll do is mill around in the parking lot with a picker and pick things up and in the grass. But my question is why? Why would you do it that way? Why would you come and go all day? Why would you do that to be in the way of consumers of the companies that your company has been, has, has, has been employed by? Those are things that in risk management we don't get. I don't see it as a sense of ergonomics because you're sitting in a truck most of the time. What I do see you doing is constantly stopping and being on your cell phone all the time.